job of vlogging and I can't speak right now because I'm just like pregnancy brain but like I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like what the actual heck I think this is so dirty <laughs> I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like what the actual heck I look like I'm 30 weeks pregnant I'm only 24 weeks pregnant this is gonna be a huge baby I'm so unprepared I'm like oh I love this cute cute thing over here and it's like but they can't get your boobs out <laughs> <laughs> <It's a mindset. laughs> no. <laughs> this is Can I get my boobs out? <laughs> So we're inside. These are actual houses that were like airlifted into this museum. They're not replicas or anything. It's like the real homes. Some of them look very Western style. But yeah, it's just, it's like a half a park and half like just like a museum. So it's really, really pretty. Like the trees, like this is the fall that we wanted. I so wondering if there's any No sugar. sugar. It's hard to find in Japan. <laughs> really? There's no sugar-free coffee? This one's less sugary. Oh yeah. Canned coffee has a very distinct taste in Japan. <laughs> Today, I trust that just being is enough. Rather than making myself crazy and tired by trying to figure out the answer or see the picture or work out how it will work out, I choose instead to focus my energy on staying present, enjoying every moment as it presents itself, I open my eyes to life as it is right now. I know the gift of clarity will come when the time is right. This is my favorite museum so far. I'm like loving it and we haven't even seen anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> Leaves. I wanted to share this because this is also another moment where I'm learning to let go of something that I was or had and learning to let something new in. Me telling you to let go in situations you are trying to control doesn't mean that you'll master it 100% of the time. That's humanly impossible. Instead, practice awareness of your emotions and find resilience in moments where you feel things are hard. Taking a train on an old train <laughs> in the Edo period.
here are some tips on learning to let go and just be. Remember that it's okay to outgrow people, places, and things, and it's okay for them to outgrow you as well. Allow yourself to grieve the loss of what you're letting go of. You can't heal what you don't feel. Ask yourself, why am I still holding on? Does it truly feel good or is it just familiar? Remember, letting go is letting in. Making room for something new is always hard, but it's worth it. Over several years of living in Japan, whenever I found myself stuck in a vicious cycle, a repetitive routine that made me feel like I was living on autopilot and feeling stuck, I realized that most of the time that was a sign for me to let go of something I'm holding on to that isn't serving me. And the secret to manifesting better things in my life is to practice the art of letting go. And this is something that you'll never master. It's a continuous practice. We're at a bathhouse right now and back in the day. So the view of Mount Fuji was put in the men's section because they really sexist back then. <laughs> In order for me to enjoy this pregnancy, I needed to let go of a lot of things, even if it was just temporary. And because of that, I was able to find my creativity again, even though I had to think a little outside the box and adopt that lovely Japanese concept of beginner's mind. I feel more at peace these days, even though some moments can be rough, life is always full of ebbs and flows. I need to remind myself that a lot of the time. There's these like little murals on the wall in the bathroom. This is a bit disturbing to, to look at when you're trying to take a, take a bath in the women's section right over here. Some angry bucket head and some angry crab head strangling a monkey. And then we have uh, talking birds to an old man and they're waving goodbye. Very strange times back in the day. So now we're on like the more western side. It kind of looks like Meiji yeah. period or something. Baby's kicking hard. <laughs> like look at this house. It's so western. It's insane. I know some of the old buildings yeah. and like universities and stuff. Like even at my university, yeah. they had that. Yeah. Freaking iPad in here. It's like a future here. <laughs> This is what they used back in the day to order. Oh, Fuji! <laughs> wow! We're shopping for baby, baby stuff right now because I'm gonna start nesting. <laughs> we need to start nesting now and thinking about the baby. So every time I come here, I get so overwhelmed. <laughs> well, everybody has these things, these little mats. 
in their living room.